2010, renowned physicist and cosmologist Stephen Hawking made a bold statement about the existence of extraterrestrial life. He warned that if aliens do exist, we should be cautious about making contact with them, as they may not have our best interests at heart. Hawking's warning has sparked a debate about the potential dangers of reaching out to intelligent life beyond our planet. Stephen Hawking is considered one of the most brilliant minds of our time, known for his groundbreaking work on black holes and the origins of the universe. In 2010, he made headlines when he warned about the potential dangers of contact with extraterrestrial life. Hawking argued that if aliens exist, they could pose a threat to humanity. He pointed out that in history, when a technologically advanced civilization encounters a less advanced one, the result has often been disastrous for the latter. He suggested that if aliens were to find Earth, they may view us as primitive beings and act accordingly. Hawking also argued that if aliens are capable of interstellar travel, they are likely to be more technologically advanced than we are. This could mean that they have access to technology that we cannot even comprehend. Hawking suggested that we should be cautious about making contact with such beings, as we may not be prepared for their level of technology or their intentions. Hawking's warning is based on the Fermi Paradox, which asks why we haven't detected any signs of intelligent life beyond our planet. The paradox is named after physicist Enrico Fermi, who famously asked, where is everybody? The idea is that if there are billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone, and many of them have planets that could support life. Why haven't we detected any signs of intelligent life? There are several possible solutions to the Fermi paradox. One is the rare Earth hypothesis, which suggests that Earth-like planets capable of supporting life are extremely rare in the universe. Another possibility is the Great Filter Hypothesis, which suggests that there is some kind of obstacle or challenge that prevents civilizations from reaching a stage where they are capable of interstellar communication. This could be anything from environmental catastrophes to nuclear war or even the development of artificial intelligence. Another possible explanation is that extraterrestrial civilizations are actively avoiding us. This idea is known as the zoo hypothesis or the galactic quarantine theory. It suggests that advanced civilizations may have set up a kind of cosmic zoo, where they observe and study less advanced civilizations like ours, but do not make direct contact. Another possibility is that they are deliberately hiding from us, either out of fear or to protect their own interests. All of these possibilities are currently being explored by scientists and researchers in the field of astrobiology. While we have not yet found any conclusive evidence of extraterrestrial life, the search continues. And as our technology continues to improve, we may one day find the answers to the Fermi paradox and discover that we are not alone in the universe. The concept of alien contact has been a popular theme in science fiction for many years. In literature, the idea can be traced back to H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, which was first published in 1898. In this classic novel, Martians invade Earth, causing widespread destruction and chaos. In the 20th century, the idea of alien contact became even more prevalent in popular culture. Movies like Close Encounters of the Third Kind, E.T., and contact presented more benign depictions of aliens. In these stories, the extraterrestrial beings are portrayed as curious explorers who seek to make peaceful contact with humanity. However, there are also many examples in popular culture where aliens are portrayed as aggressive and dangerous. Movies like Independence Day and the TV series V depict aliens as invaders who seek to conquer and destroy humanity. These depictions of aliens as hostile aggressors have had a significant impact on our cultural understanding of what an alien encounter might look like. It's worth noting that science fiction stories are not necessarily an accurate reflection of what alien contact would actually be like. However, they do reflect our fears and anxieties about the unknown. And while the idea of an alien invasion may seem far-fetched, it's worth considering the warnings of scientists like Stephen Hawking and the potential dangers of making contact with a technologically advanced civilization. Despite the potential dangers, the search for extraterrestrial life continues. Scientists are actively looking for signs of life beyond our planet, using tools like the SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, program, which scans the universe for signals that could be coming from intelligent life. The discovery of exoplanets, planets outside of our solar system, has also fueled speculation about the possibility of life beyond Earth. However, 
Even if we do find evidence of extraterrestrial life, the question of whether to make contact remains a controversial one. In 2015, a group of scientists and entrepreneurs, including Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk, signed an open letter calling for caution when it comes to making contact with alien life. The letter argued that we should not be too hasty in attempting to communicate with aliens, as we may not know what their intentions are. One concern is that any signal we send out into space could be intercepted by a hostile civilization. This could potentially reveal our location and make us vulnerable to attack. Additionally, there is a risk that our attempts to communicate with extraterrestrial life could inadvertently cause harm. For example, our messages could contain information about Earth that could be used by hostile aliens to locate and attack us. Despite these risks, there are many scientists who argue that the potential benefits of making contact with extraterrestrial life outweigh the dangers. Some argue that contact with an advanced alien civilization could lead to new scientific discoveries and advancements in technology. Others argue that it could help us better understand our place in the universe and our own existence. Ultimately, the question of whether to make contact with extraterrestrial life is a complex and difficult one. While the search for life beyond our planet continues, it's important to remember that any attempt to communicate with alien civilizations should be approached with caution and careful consideration of the potential risks and benefits. The debate over whether to make contact with extraterrestrial life raises ethical questions. If we were to make contact with intelligent beings from another planet, should we try to communicate with them? Would it be ethical to expose them to our culture and way of life? What if they are not interested in making contact with us? These are complex questions that don't have easy answers. On the one hand, making contact with extraterrestrial life could be an incredible scientific and cultural opportunity. It could broaden our understanding of the universe and our place in it. On the other hand, as Hawking warned, it could also pose a threat to humanity if the aliens are hostile or have malicious intentions. As our technology continues to advance, the possibility of making contact with extraterrestrial life becomes more likely. If we do make contact, it will likely be a defining moment in human history. The decision of whether to reach out to intelligent life beyond our planet will be one of the most significant choices we will ever make as a species. In the meantime, the search for extraterrestrial life continues, and scientists are using every tool at their disposal to try and find evidence of life beyond Earth. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we must also consider the potential risks and benefits of making contact with extraterrestrial life. Stephen Hawking's warning about the potential dangers of alien contact has sparked a debate about the ethics of making contact with extraterrestrial life. While the search for extraterrestrial life continues, we must consider the potential risks and benefits of making contact with intelligent beings from another planet. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we must approach the question of alien contact with caution and careful consideration. If you found this video informative, please share it with others who may be interested. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fascinating discussions about science and the cosmos. Thank you for watching.